So if you had in, um, visited Peru in 1400 AD, we're jumping to getting to the European contact, 51 years before Columbus was born, had you got in a ship and traveled over there, um, this is what you would have seen. This is the makeup of Peru, 1400 years AD. And just as we've seen all those little cultures had you know, come and gone and, and different kingdoms had arisen and some had expanded and conquered others and that kind of thing. So in 1400 AD, this, you would have found the Chimor kingdom up here, the, you've heard of Chimu, the Chimu culture. They had expanded all across the coast here, all the way from Northern Peru, all the way down to Southern Peru. And so the Chimu culture um, is just prior to the Inca culture, but this is an example of what that looked like up in Northern Peru. Again, a hydraulic society, very organized, uh, high densities of people, that kind of thing. This is um, uh, their capital here, and this is the layout of their, their main capital there. Um, with all, they had a, um, I was just there uh, about a year ago again. I hadn't been there in quite a while. And they have this kind of reflective pool built right, this is on the desert, they have this big reflective pool and they think that's what astronomers used like, as a mirror during the night to look and make astronomical observations. This is um, textile areas and here's the kitchens and ceremonial centers and all kinds of stuff like that. So, Chan Chan is the name, it's the, the capital uh, of the ancient Chimu empire. Mm -hmm. 